Want to find out how to get this? Hang around. Watch this video. Thank you for joining us. Okay, what I'm going to try to do here is uh, get that burn power going. And uh, it's about 7 o'clock in the morning. Mm -mm. Part of the mid-70s. But everything nice and wet. So, we'll see if we can get it started. Use our use diesel. Usually I can use a little diesel. And I keep those uh, cardboard boxes. From Amazon purchases. Because they help out. For us getting started. And then usually once I get it started. I always keep a little. Little deal in here. Usually once I get it started. I'll go and. Uh, get the water hose but first I have to get it started so this is probably a good spot here I'll get that under the bottom and for other dealers I do is uh, this is very volatile that's some of that uh, two cycle oil I usually get some diesel ready Diesel won't do it, I'll mix a little bit of that in it. But let's try to get it started here. Get that way up under there. get a pretty decent fire then I throw some diesel on it and I'm gonna put a start dousing this over here so they get ready to go cause of the dew looks like it may need a little help this morning so we'll put some of this on here This is very volatile. This will jump up real quick. There we go. And let's see. Then we'll probably start another side here. This is probably a good spot here. There we go. Of that it's not I'm trying to get something that's dry that's wood that'll start burning I think it good and dry start burning give me some base and usually I'll go back and start pouring diesel on stuff it leaves an oily base and it'll really catch that stuff on fire there we go that's what that diesel will do. Once we catch the wood on fire, we got it made. I don't even think it's close enough. I think that should catch the bottom on fire. Got too big a piece of plywood here that I want to burn. And main thing is uh, I want to get that furniture and stuff all burned down. They will come in later and take the tractor. Yeah, it looks like some of the wood may catch on. That's the purpose of the diesel. Because it'll soak on stuff and it'll help catch the wood on fire. But we'll take the tractor and push all that up here in a minute. I got dew on the ground, so that's why we don't like to do it early in the morning. The furniture finally caught on. So that's gonna help. And if the black flames go down some, I'm gonna uh, 
take the tractor. It's pretty warm right here, but uh, it finally caught on. And uh, like I said, we'll, we'll push everything up with the tractor when the fire get down a little bit low. All right, let me get the water hose. Okay, this is about 30 minutes of the burning. Uh, of course, the leaves and stuff, the brush was real big, which is nothing once it burned the leaves off. <coughs> but, I don't keep any cans or anything in there. So uh, well, we're gonna wait for that burn down some more. And uh, I don't know if you can see it over in the distance. The sun, I probably got another 30 minutes to an hour. This plywood is not burning. It's kind of wet. It was what I had right here. So it was on the ground. And uh, so I'm sure it's pretty damp. But I'm gonna uh, <clears throat> get it over the top. Get it hot enough and uh, see if it'll burn. But it's coming along nicely. One thing you gotta make sure you do is hydrate because that fire is so hot. I'm soaked. Just been out here about 30, 45 minutes. But uh, diesel, two cycle oil, and my little old trusted thrower. It usually works out pretty good. I start out with cardboard and maybe a piece of newspaper or something like that. And and uh, the good thing about the diesel is all your base. You can throw it on something and it'll hold a flame longer. This is good for throwing on there to get the flame started. I mean, it really flashed. Very dangerous. But it works for me. All right. A little over an hour. It burned all down. The embers will probably go for hours on the end, maybe. But this is the hard part here. You come in and get the small pieces and trying to get it to burn everything. <clears throat> but we'll keep working on this here. If you like these kind of videos, hit that subscribe button and uh, hit the little bell. And you'll be notified every time I put a new video up. Thank you for watching.